Hello everyone. Welcome to this documentary. I am Nandhanasan Pio from Peace and Conflict Studies Department, University of Dhaka. So, this documentary is about the National Human Rights Commission Bangladesh, the institution that works for the protection and promotion of human rights in Bangladesh. Recently, I have visited their place and gathered some experience. This documentary is basically based on my experience visiting their office and some studies which I had done in, in recent times for their organization. But before telling my experience, first of all, we need to know the definition of human rights. According to United Nations, human rights are rights inherent to all human beings regardless of race, sex, nationality, ethnicity, language, religion or any other status. Human rights include the right to life and liberty, freedom from slavery and torture, freedom of opinion and expression, the right to work and education and many more. Everyone is entitled to those rights without discrimination. Besides, Jack Donnelly, a renowned author, said in his book Universal Human Rights in Theory and Practice that human rights are literally the rights that one has simply because one is a human being. Now let's talk about the National Human Rights Commission of Bangladesh. This institution started its journey in 23rd June 2010. The United Nations had established National Human Rights Commissions in many countries of the South Asian regime. To follow the trend, they also helped our state to establish a commission who, who would work to protect and, uh, protect and promote human rights. However, according to Article 11 of, 11 of Bangladesh Constitution, the Republic shall be a democracy in which fundamental human rights and freedoms and respect for dignity and worth of human, human persons shall be granted. Likewise, the National Human Rights Commission Act 2009 Preamble, read with section 2F, establishes the institution in order to protect, promote, and foster human rights and investigate in the, in, in the Bangladesh constitution and international instruments. Which means the NHRC is a combination of the UN, our constitution, and our government. Besides, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights also encourages every state to establish to establish the National Human Rights Commissions. The location of this institution is in the BTMC Bhavan 8th floor 7 by 9 Kazi Nazlu Islam Avenue, Karan Bazar, Dhaka 1215, Bangladesh. Nowadays the head of this institution is Mr. Kazi Riyazul Haq, an ex bureaucrat who is working in NHRC for, from, from its beginning. Mr. Nazlu Islam is a full-time member of these institutions. Moreover, these institutions has at least five members and a decent number of officers and staffs. Every year, they take many programs and activities to promote human rights. They do brave men campaigns to award the school-going children about eat teasing and child abuse. They also arrange rallies in, in, in the International Human Rights Day. They arrange many seminars and workshops to promote or to our, uh, to our human rights. In 2011, they arranged a baseline survey and they identified that only 30% of people of our country know about the term human rights. In 2014, another baseline survey of NHRC was arranged. They find that only 64% of people are aware about human rights in our country. Here are some statistics of 2015 made by them. Here we can see the amount of disposed and pending cases which the NHRC had received and also the number of cases where the NHRC had taken place. The working type of NHRC is quite different. They can't go to direct, viol uh, to direct action to any kind of violation of human rights. They can't interfere to those cases which are related to law enforcement agencies. They also can't do anything of those cases which are already in the court. If any case is related with human rights violation, they first talk with the Ministry of Home Affairs. Then the Ministry talks with the law enforcement agencies. They have lack of logistical supports and a little number of manpower. They can't give support <coughs> or the legal aid support to every victim. Besides of having these, they are still working. From their opinion, in our country, 
the awareness and development of human rights are not seen as expected and sometimes we don't know how to protect our own rights from my opinion their activity is quite good and if they get more support from every sector of bangladesh they can improve themselves so hope you have enjoyed this documentary to make this video i had studied the annual reports of nhrc the universal declaration of human rights our constitution and a book named the universal human rights in theory and practice special thanks to my honorable teacher mr sabar ahmed choudhury sir for giving me this opportunity and also special thanks to mr enamul hok choudhury for giving me access in that institution thanks to mr rubiul islam and ms farhana said for helping me in nhrc also thanks to rifat e rabbi alex and imtiaz ahmed for helping me <coughs> collecting informations about the national human rights commission of bangladesh thanks for watching everyone